Welcome to Microsoft Word programming tutorial. To start with, make sure you have this your menu up there and click on it. Once it's selected, the ribbon should be similar to this. Then select Visual Basic. Once Visual Basic is selected, whatever you intend to do to your form, go ahead and uh, change the properties as you wish. Like I'm intend to change my form text right here so let me change that to about 20 yeah that's good enough because uh, I intend to develop stopwatch in this very tutorial I'm gonna need a couple of these uh, labels right there so hold on the control and just hold and drag so that's copy two and I need maybe three more that's, yeah that's cool so I have all my labels ready. So the next thing is I think I'm going to need maybe one or two buttons. Uh, let's make that be a one, two. I need one to start, one to end and uh, exit buttons. Now I have all the components I intend to use in place. So the normal thing is change the names of the component. Very first label there, I'm going to change it the caption to change the very caption to time or time I start and the second one if we change that caption to time ends the third one time of duration there here would be my timer indicators so I might as well just change all of these as follows so the very first one with the very first label let's change that to LBL time start that's the very first label so I might as well delete the content within that label the second one I will call that LBL time stop and the third one the third label let's get rid of this content as well the third label that will be that will be LBL duration and there so now that my labels are ready there they are if you guys cannot see it properly so the next thing I will intend to do is maybe change the content in here to let's just change the caption the caption should become maybe maybe start time or start time and this one would be end or stop time and this is just an exit button right there so the usual thing is to be professional about this just give it an MBTN exit and this is BTN BTN start time and followed by BTN BTN touch time start time okay now all of the components are in place now so the next thing is let me double click on my form right up here I will enter what is known as option explicit done oh there's not supposed to be a Y sorry good now that I have option explicit in place, I will then declare my variables. So let me call the first one time time start. You declare that as variant right there. And the second one declare time time end as variants as well and another would be declare time duration as variant as well so I have my three variables in place so 
now we now double click on this very component here but before then let me just highlight this component and change uh, border style to something more visible right that's more visible okay now double click on the start timer component right here and enter the following the very first one will be time that's the variable time start equals now so what I've actually said in there is I'm referring to the time the time system on the computer so now and I'll say LBL LBL start time dot caption has a caption right there equals let me get it formatted format time time start comma speech mark hours column minutes column seconds and close my speech mark I will now empty out the following LBL time stop dot caption equals empty and I repeat the same thing for LBL du duration dot caption equals day and that is that so let me just give this a try so what I'll do is come up here and run the system there so if I click on this very start timer that is what I get so it's looking good okay so let's go back these other two buttons are not doing anything yet so the next one is to click on my stop time right here but just before that let me give my form a name come to the caption of the form right here and just give it a name stop wash application right there so now here double click on this okay and just say time end which is the variable right of the equals now so which means anytime I click on it so now I need my time duration equals time and minus time start so that will give me the difference between the two and a stop and end time so time stop dot caption equals format time end comma hours minutes and seconds let's close that so repeat exactly the same thing for the duration so I'm just going to copy my duration it right here just paste it here paste and copy as follows and paste that right there there so change this very one to time duration okay and that is all for this program what well, there's one more thing left to do and that is uh, I believe is this exit button so all I just need to do is enter the command end right there so if I run my program let's build I believe you can all see these lines of code that I use in developing a stopwatch within a Microsoft Word so let me run the program right now I believe you can all see this code so run the program start the timer now let's end it stop the timer right there so that takes about four seconds check out the exit that works run the program one more time start 
time, stop the timer, and that takes about four, four seconds as well. So I can always start it again. This time around, I will give you some couple of uh, seconds more. So let's see what we happen right now. Look at that, that takes me 11 seconds. So I'm just going to call this the end of this tutorial. I suppose you all enjoy it, and thanks for watching.